Question 11. What is the purpose of a sacrificial anode? Answer. Sacrificial anodes are highly active metals that are used to prevent a less active material surface from corroding. Sacrificial anodes are created from a metal alloy with a more negative electrochemical potential than the other metal it will be used to protect. Question 12. What materials are used for sacrificial anodes? Answer. The materials used for sacrificial anodes are either relatively pure active metals such as zinc or magnesium or are magnesium or aluminum alloys that have been specifically developed for use as sacrificial anodes. In applications where the anodes are buried, a special backfill material surrounds the anode in order to ensure that the anode will produce the desired output. Since the sacrificial anode works by introducing another metal surface with a more negative electronegative and much more anodic surface, the current will flow from the newly introduced anode and the protected metal becomes cathodic creating a galvanic cell. The oxidation reactions are transferred from the metal surface to the galvanic anode and will be sacrificed in favor of the protected metal structure. Question 13. How are sacrificial anodes put on? Answer. Sacrificial anodes are normally supplied with either lean wires or cast M straps to facilitate their connection to the structure being protected. The lean wires may be attached to the structure by welding or mechanical connections. These should have a low resistance and should be insulated to prevent increased resistance or damage due to corrosion. When anodes with cast in straps are used, the straps can either be welded directly to the structure or the straps can be used as locations for attachment. A low resistance mechanically adequate attachment is required for good protection and resistance to mechanical damage. In the process of providing electrons for the cathodic protection of a less active metal the more active metal corrodes. The more active metal anode is sacrificed to protect the less active metal cathode. The amount of corrosion depends on the metal being used as an anode but is directly proportional to the amount of current supplied. Question 14. Why sacrificial anodes used for? Answer. Sacrificial anodes are used to protect the hulls of ships, water heaters, pipelines, distribution systems, above ground tanks, underground tanks, and refineries. The anodes in sacrificial anode cathodic protection systems must be periodically inspected and replaced when consumed. Question 15. What are the forms of cathode protection? Answer. Several different forms of cathode protection are forming alloys, plating, and galvanizing the metal. Question 16. How do sacrificial anodes function? Answer. Sacrificial anodes work by oxidizing more quickly than the metal it is protecting, being consumed completely before the other metal reacts with the electrolytes. Question 17. What is the principle of cathodic protection? Answer. Cathodic protection, CP, is a technique used to control the corrosion of a metal surface by making it the cathode of an electrochemical cell. A simple method of protection connects the metal to be protected to a more easily corroded sacrificial metal to act as the anode. Question 18. What is a cathodic reaction? Answer. The anode is the electrode at which a net oxidation reaction occurs, whereas cathodes are electrodes at which net reduction reactions occur. All cathodic protection systems require an anode, a cathode, an electric circuit between the anode and cathode, and an electrolyte. Question 19. How does cathodic protection on a pipeline work? Answer. Cathodic protection, CP, is a technology used to protect buried or immersed metals from corrosion. It is defined as the reduction or elimination of the corrosion process by either making the corroding metal a cathode via an impressed direct current, DC, or by connecting it to a sacrificial or galvanic anode. Question 20. What is impressed current cathodic protection? Answer. Simple impressed current cathodic protection system. A source of DC electric current is used to help drive the protective electrochemical reaction. For larger structures or where electrolyte festivity is high, galvanic anodes cannot economically deliver enough current to provide protection. 